Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have another capsule wardrobe coming at you and this time in the form of a little workwear wardrobe. It consists of 16 pieces altogether, 12 clothing and 4 pairs of shoes. So this is just kind of like um, a general workwear wardrobe that you can kind of incorporate the pieces that you already own and swap it out for the pieces that I'm about to show you. So make something that works for you. Um, this is supposed to be quite versatile. I've kept a really simple color palette just so you can slot in those pieces that suit you better. Um, and just kind of take this as a bit of a template. Before I get into the video, um, if you do like these kind of videos about capsule wardrobes and how to style different pieces, do give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. I know a lot of you guys um, who do watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you don't want to miss any of my videos, I recommend you do. So I'm going to talk you through each of the pieces here and then I'm going to show you some outfits at the end of the video or kind of midway through the video. I'm going to talk through them as quickly as I can um, because I just want to give you a gist of the different pieces and the breakdown of what I've chosen. Um, and also I have a blog post uh, with this where I have created kind of like a visual template as well, a visual guide. So you, if you want to head over to that blog post, I have it linked below and you can save the, um, the template so it has each of the pieces and then I think uh, 15, 15 outfits collaged up as well. So um, this capsule does actually make 192 different or completely different variations. So um, that's kind of crazy. I didn't think it would be that many. If you've heard me talk about my little fashion mats formula before, um, I'll pop it here on the screen so you can see how I break things down. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy how many outfits you can get out of 16 pieces. So um, this is dependent on, they won't be completely different outfits. So it would be the same top and bottom, but maybe a different blazer um, or the same top, bottom and blazer, but a different shoe. So it'd be just a slight variation, but it is different at the same time. And I think even if you don't get 192 outfits out of your pieces, I think even 100 would be pretty good. So once you've um, created your own capsule, uh, you can use my fashion mats formula to work out exactly how many um, combinations you'll be able to create based on whether or not all of your pieces go together. So I stuck to a really neutral color palette. I literally have about three colors here, four colors. So I have this kind of beige cream color, same kind of beige, um, a darker beige for blazer. I have a gray jumper, I have some black and I have a little hint of blue and some denim, which kind of fall into the same category. And I'm going to talk through them um, category wise because that's how I broke them down in my little visual guide as well. And it'll be easier for you to see how many of what pieces um, I've chosen. So first of all, I chose two tops, um, both like literally the opposites of each other. The first one is just a black crew neck t-shirt. I know some workplaces will be a little bit more smart than your typical jeans and t-shirt, but I picked this t-shirt because I know it's a great way to dress down a suit or something more dressy. Um, so I think if you had a blazer over the top of this, it should be quite acceptable. I love this um, just basic crew neck t-shirt as well. And I've chosen my cream silk shirt as well. So this is basically to dress up a more like jeans outfit or something like that. So we've got a dress down top and a dress up top. And I think they're both very versatile and they kind of go with every kind of bottom that I have here as well. So I've picked four sweaters because knitwear is a big staple for me in my wardrobe. Um, my everyday wardrobe and my work wardrobe. I like to be warm. I work in an office. I do tend to be sitting down quite a bit. Um, so when I am sitting for a long period of time, I do get cold. So I want to be wearing something warm. Also, I sit right under the air conditioning. So this is what I got to wear. So I picked um, a different color for each sweater as well. They're mostly the same style, but I have one different one in it. So the first one is this um, creamy beige cashmere jumper, a simple crew neck. Uh, it's a little bit more fitted than the next one I'm going to show you. So it's, yeah, it's basically like a fitted style, not too slouchy. The next one is also a grey cashmere jumper, crew neck as well. But this is a slightly more oversized fit. I think it's actually a small men's. So it's nice to do a little front tuck with this just because it is a bit oversized. I don't always tuck it in fully. I have this black uh, sweater as well. It's viscose actually. It's the only non-cashmere one I have here. And this has kind of a square neck, so I just thought it was nice and different. I don't know if you, know, you can see that it has a square neck. Just thought it was really different. It has a slight balloon sleeve as well. So it's just something a little bit of an extra detail. Um, they're not just all boring crew neck cashmere jumpers, um, although I love them. So 
not boring to me but yeah really nice and you can kind of play up the neckline then with a bit of jewellery and it's a really slim fit so it tucks really nicely into bottoms and finally I chose my blue cashmere sweater just to add a little bit of colour into the wardrobe um, so it's not always beige and grey and black it is nice to inject a little bit of colour so I thought with some of these outfits um, this could be a good way to show you how to introduce a little bit of colour I chose two blazers um, this is kind of a staple for me especially if I like to wear a lot of jumpers and jeans I think drawing on a blazer is a great way to upgrade the look and to make it a bit more work appropriate if you have a slightly more um, corporate style I guess um, and also just makes me feel a little bit more business-like and kind of ready for work so this is a full suit I'll show you the bottoms in a minute um, this is just a collarless blazer it's kind of oversized on me because I ordered a size up but then they actually sent me one size up again but it's fine it looks good on but yes so it's kind of an oversized fit which is great it means I can layer it over jumpers and things um, yeah really like this this is actually new in I got it from the Zara Join Life collection I just wanted to try out something from that collection um, I know it's not the most ethical collection still but it is that bit more sustainable it's um, made of recycled polyester and viscose so um, yeah let's see how I get on with it anyway <laughs> And the next blazer, you will probably have seen this a million times. It's this really nice check. It's kind of like a dark beige, the black um, check going through it. Oversized as well. Um, I threw just one skirt into the mix because I didn't want it to be all trousers, but that tends to be what I would wear the most will be trousers for work. I just find them much more comfortable um, and warm again, like I said. But yeah, this skirt's really comfortable. It's bias cut, so it's nice and stretchy. I made it myself so I like to get as much wear out of it as I can and it's a really nice length as well and it looks great just tucked into um, or with a jumper tucked into it or a chunky jumper thrown over it and it's just a really nice fabric as well so that's just to inject maybe a little bit more of a feminine touch into your work wardrobe. I chose one pair of jeans and they're just a classic kind of like a dark wash um, straight leg jean so Nothing too skinny or stretchy or anything like that. So it's a nice classic cut. So I think even if um, you have kind of a slightly more dress up environment, I think these can look really nice. I have one pair of black trousers. These are a slight cropped leg, cropped with a little flare on them. So they're kind of different to any of the other styles I have. So it's nice to just have something a little bit different, but it's still just a black trouser. So I'm not a big heels wearer um, typically. So for work, I'm definitely not gonna want to be wearing a heel if I'm running around the office but um, I just included these they're a small two and a half inch heel I think really comfortable great color as well for work and we'll go with any color um, within this capsule wardrobe so because the rest of the wardrobe is quite neutral I thought I could inject a little bit of personality with my leopard print pumps again these are quite a low heel so nice for work if you are going to be running around the office at all um, these seem really comfy but I actually haven't had a chance to wear them just yet because I got them at the beginning of April and I haven't really been out of the house that much. So really looking forward to getting to wear these. A pair of loafers as well because they're quite a classic um, work appropriate shoe and I think they just kind of make a look look more like kind of corporate or dressed up or sophisticated I guess. Um, and they're a nice closed toe as well. These have definitely seen better days. The threads are kind of coming away on them but they have been well worn and well loved. So they just need to be cleaned up a little bit I think. And lastly, I have my nude pumps or my like beigey kind of coloured pumps um, that I feature all the time because I love them. They go with everything. Again, a nice closed toe shoe, flat, great for running around in. They just kind of look like an extension of your foot because of the colour of them. So they don't really take away from any outfits and they just go with everything. So I thought they would be a great one to include as well. And for me, I find comfort is like one of the most important things when I'm at work. I just want to be able to do my job and not think about what I'm wearing. Um, and yeah, I work like 10 hour days, so I want to be comfortable for sure. So I'm going to style up a few of these in outfits. Like I said, I have a visual guide down below and I'll pop it here on the screen as well, just so you can see what it's like. I'm not going to work from those outfits. I'm going to style um, just kind of out of my head. I'm going to style up a few outfits and I will try my best not to overlap with what I've already collaged, but um, yeah, I'm not really going to look at it. So some of them may overlap, but if they do, at least then you have the visual guide, which you can remember which ones I've styled up. So let's get going.
guys enjoyed seeing those few outfits that I styled up and I hope it helps you when it comes to going back to work and getting dressed again in the mornings. I know a lot of us are kind of starting to go back to work slowly so hopefully this comes at the right time that you can get your wardrobe together before you have to go back to work. I know for me I want to start dressing a little bit more professionally just so I kind of feel the part when I'm at work and that is why I added a suit to my collection so I'm very looking forward to wearing that. I hope you guys are all keeping really well and I'll see you soon.